Hello everyone, this is my route to go get yourself more handguards. This is not the most optimized route, this is mainly just help out my subscribers, anybody who's new to the game just looking for more handguards. Uh, they can be kind of a pain. These enemies respawn daily, I believe, so you should be able to farm this route a couple of times. Um, within 30 minutes or so, you'll be done. Uh, depending on what DPS you're using, you'll also be done a little quicker than I am. Uh, midway through this, I went, why am I using Ayaka? She's not the fastest. So I will be uh, fast-forwarding through the battles. If you have someone like Hu Tao or Ganyu or whatever else who's already built, you'll probably blow through this a lot faster than I will. So I'll skip through the fights and then just keep leading you in the direction. There's t uh, maps in the description. There's only two maps in this one. Uh, two maps in the description uh, in the same link. Also, if you want to go run uh, the same like mob route with us on stream, or you want friends that you can run it with because my community is getting bigger, uh, be sure to follow me on Twitch. I'm going to have a Discord open soon. On my community posts, I'll let the Discord be, you know, I'll let you see it. I'll be like, oh my gosh, we have a Discord. And also in Twitch, uh, I'll change the panel over to coming soon to uh, Discord is here. And then you can also have more people to run with. Be sure to join the Lightning Brigade. Hopefully you enjoy this video. Let's get right into it. At the very start of this thing, I had a little under, I had under 7, 10, and 6. So 7 regular handguards, 10 green handguards, and 6 blue uh, guards. And I ended up killing two guys and didn't count before we started. I killed two guys and then went, ah, freak, I had to go look at that first. So it's actually a little bit more than that. Uh, at the end of this route, you're going to get about 60 of the regular ones. If your drops are as good as mine or a little better, you might get more. So hopefully you enjoy. Let's get into it. So here I'm going to be walking you through Kanazuka Island, and then we're going to go to Namikami Island, uh, Narukami Island, in order to get our samurai materials. Now, the other island has a few on there, but it's kind of hard to optimize since they're kind of scattered around the island. Uh, right now, I have started off of this teleporter here, and we're going to go down and get these two, and then we're going to come back up here, and then we're going to go down this way and around. So let us go. And also, you should have the maps in the description. I will put the arrows on them as well. Um, I had to come up with a new symbol for teleport. I think I'm going to do the dashed lines, but hopefully you enjoy this little route with me. I have I really appreciated this island. They really do a good job at making it more interesting. Got a few here. There you go. Not right there. No, I put it right on the challenge. Sometimes you can't put the markers right next to each other, or the game kind of goes crazy. Are doing some decent damage. There's a few right there. So literally just further down here on the beach. Your next next set of guys mixed with a little bit of treasure hunters. Fighting on this island is a Fatui agent. <laughs> it's crazy. There's two more. We don't really need him, so I'm just gonna freeze him, leave me alone. And so after you get these two, you just teleport back up here, and then we go down this road. Um, there is a quest samurai, but it doesn't really count uh, part of this route here. We're going to go down this way. Uh, be careful like the giant shield if you haven't gotten it yet. I still don't have it because I haven't tried to uh, level up my chest levels. I've just been farming for stuff. That's the guy I'm talking about, but he's a quest. And here are more of the difficult fights because they're kind of the bigger guys. Um, it's crazy how much damage the bigger guys do. They are quite aggressive. Alright, this one's one of the smaller guys. Great. I had items and we had 10 of the green and then uh, 6 of the blues. So... Hopefully this helps you out a lot. These steps are not letting me get there. We're going to go up here to him.
insane when it comes to damage. Uh, so I can't wait to see what the Shogun does and everybody else. Um, so from right here, you can just teleport because it's just a lot quicker. So we go from right here, we get these two, teleport over here. Then we're going to deal with the ones on the high ground first, and then we'll come back uh, and jump down. That's just a lot easier, no climbing. If you're climbing, that's kind of like, okay, well, you're adding more time to your day. Oh. Uh, I believe I left these samurai alive. But there's supposed to be two... There we go. Cool. Cool. Oh, wrong character. There you go. Just wanted to heal real quick. And then, so from right up here, you just hop down uh, to this guy who's training. Uh, two guys. It looks like one down here. And then the second one will appear. There you go. Their drop rate is not the best. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> sometimes, man, sometimes. All right, and then so from these two, we're gonna go here and then we're gonna go this way and then we're going to teleport over to our uh, next part. So we're headed down south now. Over to where this boat area is. Luckily, it's just going through the boat, so if I just go down, we can just go straight right at the boat. We get a group of three guys, again, training. That'd be really cool. Give us like a war phrase. So we had those ones over there, and then we go over here this way, just across, and we have another set of two guys. I remember there's an ambush. Nope. Okay, cool. One, and then these two. And then we're going to teleport once again. So we've gone up here, all the way around, over this way. And then so we can go from here, but not as scattered as the very uh, island all the way over to the left. The one all the way to the left is like super scattered out. Um, so there are a few there as well. And I can show you guys after this is over. I just don't think it's optimal for route. All right, and then you can leave these treasure hunters alone. Add more there. Uh, I said I was gonna ice bridge. No, I'll do it, I'll do it you guys' way. Come on, let's go up here and teleport, and then we'll just go back that way. See how far we get from gliding. There we go, so we're trying to go over there to that middle portion, right in the middle. Uh, Cause there's a decent number. Oh, there's also a guy underneath us. Oh, I guess I have that part mapped. Uh, go straight down. There are two guys here. That'd be a waste. We're already heading this direction.
There's a question. Did these guys heal by fire? We were in a domain once with my friend on his stream. Uh, I was curious about that. Uh, so, after this, you can swim across. If you have Ayaka, you can do this. Or Mona, just dash across. Um, again, you could just teleport back up and then glide halfway and then see you know how far you can get swimming. But then here we have these three guys. And her together are dangerous uh, but here we go that's everyone here in the middle and so from here we're going to go teleport back up to the camp and then we're just going to hop down go around and then go this way that way we are just going right so hopping up the steps here excuse me sir going over this way the front part of the island. Now there's a big guy in the middle of this way, but since we're just walking, I believe there's a big guy in the middle of this way, so that just makes it easy for all of us. One there. One there, one there. Great. We go down this way. Big dude over here. Oh, no, this is me mapping the big dude. Because everyone else. Big dudes. Give me an old hand guard that sucks. Um, anyways, so that's it for this island. Then here we're gonna go. We're gonna go up this way, and then over to the right. This is Narukami Island right here. And so we're gonna go again up this way, through the river, and then back down. And then we're gonna teleport to this one location, and then we're gonna go to this island here that just has a ton of them. So let's start. And luckily for this, uh, these routes, they made this kind of easy for everyone to just kind of run through. And these guys show up every day. I believe they're daily villains, or sorry, villains, daily mobs since they are uh, easy, supposedly. <laughs> Thanks, Mahoyo. Yeah. Come through here. And then we have our first group of people right here. Great. Keep going. Then we're going to head over this way to our left. Basically, circle about. There we go. So these guys here. You can see the teleporter from right here. Uh, you could just. The quest together. There we go. We get this one as well. And so now we are going to head from this road. We're heading over to the right. Or we're heading over east. You be better. We're heading over east to the river. And then we have the one guy camping out here. Sitting in the river. While also trying to keep warm. There we go. No drops, darn you. Uh, then we go over here, down the river, follow the river.
Great. And then we're going to climb up the river. There we go. And then there's two guys right here. And this is marked out for both. There we go. And then we gotta, we're going to go get this last guy. Didn't leave one, right? Nope. Okay. We're going to go get this last guy. Way over here in the forest. Uh, not that lady. Hold on over to... There we go. Cool. So that's it for this area. What we're going to do here is we're going to teleport to this domain here, unlock this domain, and we're going to go just straight down there. There's two guys over there. Cool. So those two are done. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go and teleport over here to Jinrin Island. Um, if you don't have the teleporter unlocked yet, then you know, use a boat. Um, I highly doubt you don't, but just in case you do, I'm just going to give you the tip there. You can just go forward to that little, I don't want to say what a peninsula, and then boat over here. Um, either way it works. The thing with this island is they're kind of all over the place. So we can go take out this guy first since he is a individual. And then that way it just makes it a little easier. Alright. And so now that we're done with him, we'll come back over this way. And then there's a group of them. So just be kind of careful here. All right, so now that we're done with these guys, what we're going to do here is we're going to go over and uh, get these two's attention, try to get them both. Alright, and so outside of those two guys, we have a guy around here in the front who is camped by the dog. Okay, so a quick way to get uh, to the top where we need to go get those three guys up there is to use this. But you have to be careful not to go too far up or else you might end up teleporting into the domain. Just go up a few of them and then come over here. If you go all the way up, you will get sent to another dimension, which you guys did not see. Because <laughs> I added that part out. One, two, one, great. And then here, we'll go up.
And then those are the last guys up here. And then from here, we're going to go down to the beach, get this one guy over here, and then we're going to go out to that island and get those four guys over there. That island's a little dangerous since you're stuck with the big dude on a... Cool, and then we're gonna go over to these guys, and then we're done. Fitting kind of boss fight, really small island. Four samurai, one really dangerous one. I know. As you can see here, we got 60 of the regular ones from our little trip. We got uh, 16 more of the green ones, and then we had five more of the blue ones added to our little group from that whole trip. And there we go. So hopefully you found this helpful. Let's go up to the outro, me. So hopefully you enjoyed our little run. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, or Twitter. Be sure to follow us on Twitch here on YouTube for more guides and also to go run with us. Uh, I judge teapots occasionally. We go and look at each other's worlds and go run for mobs. Um, we just like to act stupid sometimes. Sometimes we have guests over like Pyrex where we just chat for like a while acting really stupid. Uh, and hopefully you enjoy. We're going to go over a story. We talk about like, oh my gosh, I'm freaking out about characters and everything else. Uh, I'm going to have the next video over that's going to show you is the Crystal Lump Guide. So click on that if you need it. And I hope you have a good day. Thank you and see you later, Lightning Brigade. Don't leave!